Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about this puzzle here, and I can tell you this was really caused in the video. You will just see in a minute after the spoiler break. And I just decided based on that, I had so much fun here with this puzzle. Based on that, I will just re-record the intro to tell you a little bit more about this puzzle and what it is about, because I had barely no information up front. It's a puzzle lock called the Titan's Treasure Puzzle Lock, made by Sashko. You can find Sashko's channel up here, which is about lock picking, not particular about puzzle locks or puzzles. Anyway, he designed and manufactured this lock. It's a regular lock that is modified, and it comes with this broken key and with the other part of the key. This is not required for solving the puzzle. I was told up front and also this pin here, whatever this is, is also not required to solve this puzzle. So therefore I will not manipulate this area in the video, just for you to know. But this piece here is very well required to solve the puzzle. It also comes with a little flyer here and a little story and it tells a little bit about the background story that there's a titan who locked up his treasure and now the key is lost or broken and um, and the treasure is also lost forever um, if no one is able to open this lock. So a small side story. There are no external tools allowed of course and then good luck and have fun. Ah, this is number three. I don't know what this means. Maybe the revision. I have no idea. But you can find this marking also down here. So I received this puzzle also a while ago. Uh, I think beginning of the year and in the meanwhile it's also available on Etsy so check out Sashko's Etsy shop if you would like to get a copy yourself you can pre-order it even if it's not available and if you know a shop where it's also available to buy it directly just let me know and I will put this one also in the comments. And as you saw already in the video description this puzzling episode today is getting really serious so it's not really a Halloween special but this is real it's not only done for the thumbnail. If you look in on the puzzle itself, there are several screws in here, which are part of the design, it seems. And there is a keyhole, but overall it looks pretty much like a regular puzzle lock. However, it's not, I can promise you. And after the spoiler break, you're gonna see how I really tried desperately to get the thing open and it's getting really serious. So just check it out, subscribe if you like what you see. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna start solving this puzzle. So finally I can give it a try. Titan's treasure puzzle lock. Broken key and the lock itself. Uh, I don't like or probably no one likes to put broken keys in keyholes. Let me first see what I can do. What else I can do and if I shake it you can hear. There is some noise coming from inside. There are several screws here on the outer side. One, two, three, four. Four overall. Five. No, four. I don't want to put it inside, but actually, since it's a puzzle lock, I'm gonna do it. I would never do this with a regular lock. Let's see what happens. Okay. It stops. Also, I just noticed there are some lines here on the top. Not sure what they are for, but overall there are five lines and I can see if I put it in, it's gonna stop at these lines. Number one. And at number three, it already stops. Oh, it's, it's even six lines, not five. Number one is a stop and number three seems to be a stop and then it's blocked. This one, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm not allowed or I, it's not, it's not part of the puzzle. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a pin or something that's pushed inside. And this is not part of the puzzle. I was told and therefore I will not manipulate here on this thing. Just that if in case you are curious, these other screws, they are all screwed completely in. The shackle is completely locked. 
in place, no free play at all, which is different as uh, if compared to a normal lock. Since I can't discover anything else, I'm trying to maybe other way around. No, I have also no idea what this, what kind of puzzle this is, by the way. If it's just a lock, if it's some kind of any trick, any manipulation necessary to move it around, I don't know. I'm fiddling with this puzzle, I don't know, since quite some time now with absolutely zero progress. There must be hidden something here in plain sight and I just can't see it. So if you look here, you can see very fine the outlines here of these um, like small circles. One is drilled in here and the other ones, I think overall six, are still in its original condition it seems. and. These are usually used to drill the holes where other pins in. Let's say you need to get in the right positions to turn on the cylinder. There is, and there is this screw here. And it seems that this screw is blocking our key. Yeah. Oh, did it, did it just move here? I just touched it with the key, but... Oh yes, <gasps> this is loose, the screw is loose. Little, I don't know how you call it in English, in German we call it a warm screw, because it looks like a small maggot. Yeah, sorry, not warm screw, we call it maggot screw. <laughs> and now, let's see. No, it's still blocked, but how, I mean, this. Oh, what's this? There seems to be something. <gasps> what? what is this? Huh? Are these tools? Is it a sequential discovery puzzle? Maybe not only lock. Let's see if now I can. <sighs> oh, <laughs> don't put it inside too far. I'm afraid I, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, I'm gonna do it now anyway. Let's just push this in completely. Oh, 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 <gasps> oh no, did I mess it up now? So maybe I'm able to twist it now and I'm done. Please let me be able to twist it. No, no. This was quite a bad move here. It's actually much too far. If you look at this key here, you can see that it's broken right before the end. So it seems I put it in too far and I'm not able to get it out again. Ah, can you see this from the top? You remember these small lines? I can now see one of these lines here. Maybe I can push it out, but I cannot move the key. Oh yeah, and I can see why, because here inside there is this small pin coming from the bottom. I think I can get it out if I push this pin. Oh yeah, it remains down, you see? I pushed it now downwards. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, I did not solve it, but oh, I can push it out again. You see? Oh, got it back. Woo! It was a puzzle inside the puzzle how to get the key out again, but um, overall it didn't help me at all because if I put in the key, you can see if I put it in, the movement or these, this noise we could hear before is not coming from these two tools. It came from something else because it's still there. You can still hear it. Now I got it. It seems I can use these little things at, as tools. Here I got out the next screw. Let me just get all of them out. I, I hope I do not over puzzle this puzzle right now. But you can see I can screw all of them out now. Oh, come on. It took me so much time to understand that. 
this one I had before, then there is this one, and there's something inside here. Something shiny. This is probably Titan's treasure. Looks like a pearl. Oh, what is this? Now it changed. Or something. <gasps> I remember something. Here, you see this? Hidden in plain sight. This is probably Titan's treasure I'm, treasure I'm looking for. Now I got it. Here is nothing really visible. It's only the a hole for the shackle. But I can conclude. Oh, and what is this? Can you see this? There is a spring inside here. So it seems this hole is only the purpose of this hole is only to to drill inside here all the way through probably. And there's something going inside. There's a channel inside here and there's something going in, on inside this channel, which is also probably causing this left and right movement. Because if you go up and down, there's no noise. If you go left and right, there's definitely a lot of noise. I can, I can touch the spring here with this tool, but there's no movement. Let me just... Let me just check if I can open the thing up now. This puzzle is so cool. It's fun that two of my favorite puzzles I tried this year both are called Titan. The Titan puzzle, sphere and the Titan treasure lock. I'm not sure at all if I need to, to use this key or if there's maybe any other trick to open it. I would not wonder if I don't need it. Since I hear these kind of pins, I just try to spin it a bit. No, spinning does also not work. I have no idea how many times I put this key in and out and <laughs> try to rotate it. And so this was necessary. So sometimes if you make no progress at all and do just over and over the same things again, it's good to to take a break. Seriously difficult. This puzzle is definitely difficult. And I'm pretty sure this spring here is pushing on one or two pins that slide in this channel. There seems to be a hole in the middle. There seems to be a, a spring over here until the pin or whatever this is here. And there seems to be a slider over here which moves in both directions. And this, I don't, I'm not sure about what's going on here on this side if there's another slider because here is the shackle going out like so, yeah. I'm not sure about this if there's another slider or not. Okay, if it's like, really like this, I would need to put it on here, put the key inside, and now I must be able to open it up. But this is not working. It's actually, it's exactly the same. So the pin should be now in this condition, if there is a pin in this position. And if I move it over here, it's probably somewhere here and blocking the lock from rotating. <gasps> oh, I can twist it and it's open. What just happened? Now, oh, okay, now I got it. Oh, I need to hold it upside down. Something you usually never do when unlocking a padlock. You always put the key in, of course, upright. But in this case, you need to push it. Uh, you need to orient it upside down and then you can easily twist it. And it seems the slider need to be in here and it twists with the lock. Oh. But I still can't take it completely out. The treasure is still in place, but it's moving with the shackle, as you can see. Now, this is the shackle, and if I move it, now there is the notch, and it's blocked. And if there is really a slider over here, I somehow need to get it out of position. Awa! Oh, I cut myself here. <laughs> Man, the thing has sharp edges, I tell you. Ow! I just cut my finger here on this edge. Ow. I just need a plaster, just a second. Oh man, 
This is this is how I care about solving puzzles, you know. No matter what, I will continue. And puzzling is really a serious business, I can tell you. And you know what? I will I gonna use this happening here on my thumbnail. You will see it later when I post the video. Punching does not seem to be an, an option. And I'm afraid to do it again. So there must be another way. By getting the plaster, I just had an idea. And this is about if there's really a pin here that's blocking the cylinder here from coming out. I just need to move it out of position, but it's pushed by the spring. So how do you get the pin out of position when it's pushed by the spring? You need to manipulate the spring, of course. And I think this is the reason why I have two tools here. And I will just explain you in a minute why. The spring has single windings. So I can take one of these tools and put it between these windings, okay? And now I will push it downwards. And if this is really the solution, this is ingenious. Seriously, design a puzzle like this or a solution like this. I push it downwards and now the next winding is coming and I will push the next pin between the next winding and pull it down again. So what I do now is I'm manipulating winding by winding. You see, I will push it downwards and now the next winding is visible. I take this pin again and I will continue over and over again until I push the spring enough to just take it. Oh, that's it. I did it. Let me get the treasure out and here it is. Woo. And you can see what it cost me to solve this puzzle. Amazing, amazing. And this is the little pin that was inside. The spring is still in place, it seems. I finally solved it. Oh, I have no idea how much time it cost me. And I think this puzzle is definitely worth to put together again now, also on video. Tension the spring again, put it to push it together. Then I put in the treasure, pearl, fits exactly inside. And now the pin and the pin, I will put back in the hole. Okay, now the pin is further down. And if I push this one now down here, the pin will disappear inside this hole. So I put it in, I will release it again. Pin is back in position and is locking the shackle again. What do I need to do next? I need to lock it again. Here I can do it by finger, with my bloody fingers. <laughs> lock it back in position, but cannot unlock it since there is this other pin or whatever it is that's sliding over here and it's now blocking the cylinder from getting turned. And now I put back in all the screws. Number one. Number two. It was tightened only very, probably by finger here, in a way that you can untighten it by hand. And now it's blocked again. I have it back in the initial condition after I don't know how many hours. Five out of five, highest difficulty rating for me definitely here on this puzzle. I hope you liked this episode. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this puzzle. Was it enjoyable to watch me struggling here, hurting myself <laughs> while solving this puzzle? Would you be interested to try it yourself? As I mentioned, it's available on Etsy. You can also pre-order it if you like. Subscribe, join me on Facebook and that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.